I have constant headaches, my stomach hurts, my back hurts, and my depression feels out of control. During my first week of my family medicine rotation, if I had heard this patient describe her symptoms, I would have jumped to a lot of extreme conclusions. Does she have a subarachnoid hemorrhage? Does she have stomach cancer? Is this a lumbar disc herniation? Is she experiencing postpartum depression? This time I responded with silence and I listened as she began to tell me her story. I learned that this patient has a newborn and a five-year-old at home, that her husband doesn't help with childcare, and that she has no time at all for herself. Immediately, her symptoms began to make a lot more sense. We spent the entire appointment talking about the importance of self-care and coming up with strategies for her to find time for herself. The patient left the appointment feeling validated and with a toolkit to make some positive changes in her life. This patient was burned out from her job as a mom and as a school teacher, largely because she couldn't find time for her personal life. As I go through medical school, I find it incredibly important to find a proper work-life balance. It's important not only for my own mental and physical well-being, but also important so I can counsel patients about their entire health needs, not just about their physical symptoms. The things that I personally find important outside of medicine and that help me avoid burnout are staying active for my physical well-being and as a way to de-stress, keeping in touch with friends and family to stay connected, being outdoors and appreciating the beauty of nature, exploring Los Angeles and experiencing all of its culture, and spending time fostering kittens and hanging out with my cat for my mental health and happiness.